All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the new global campaign that just dropped about an hour ago. Specifically, it's the uh, thank you celebration for this year. So without further ado, let's uh, pop into the news here and see what's going on. So uh, from the top, it says exploding gratitude. Dokkan thank you celebration is on. Get Dokkan Thank You Celebration Gift Card 5 through the login bonus, the special missions, and the Harunga Dragon Ball campaign, and use the gift cards to recruit powerful characters at Baba's Chop. Uh, in addition, new SSR Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, that uh, eventually becomes Goku and Vegeta, uh, will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Uh, don't miss out on other events, including a new Dokkan event, of course, Join various events and enjoy Dokkan Battle. Okay, so from the top we have, uh, of course, a login bonus, along with some special missions. We have the new uh, Goku slash Vegeta and also Jocko banner. And uh, it doesn't show, of course, the rest of the featured units, but it should be very similar to the JP banner, with the exception of most likely the tech androids being replaced with uh, maybe Fizz Raditz. We'll see. And then we also have the Perunga Dragon Ball campaign, which has uh, officially begun. And uh, there are three sets of uh, wishes, three sets of Dragon Balls. And I will be making a video very soon to let you guys know exactly how you can acquire each of the 21 balls for all the wishes. Okay, so uh, there's that. And then we have the um, Thank You Celebration special character selection where you can exchange your thank you gift cards for one of 77 units in the baba shop and uh i might make a video about that too you know talking about like which units are the best to choose and all that stuff but uh, that's gonna be for later and then we have uh restoration of reward boost um reduced by half right so instead of eight hours it's gonna be four hours now for each of those boosts to recover which is nice and then a sale in the baba shop we have a Dragonstone sale, which um, looks okay. We got uh, actually, it's pretty, it's pretty minimal. If I if I gotta be honest, I mean, we got the one like thirty stone pack for the price of six, which is amazing. But it's only one time, and then we got thirty two stones, fifty percent off two times, and then four ninety one stone pack. So it looks like they don't actually want us to hit top grossing because obviously. I mean, at the end of the day, Dragonstone sales is what mainly drives, um, you know, top grossing rankings, right? And I feel like overall, this is not like the most hype release for a lot of people anyways. So on top of that, you can buy, well, you combine the lack of hype with uh, the, you know, very few sales. And I'm going to say it right now, we're most likely not going to be hitting top grossing for this unit. We might hit it for... Trunks and uh, Vegeta later on um, this month or beginning of December, but yeah, most likely no top grossing for this one, I gotta say. Okay, so after that, we have the thank you packs up for sale, which will uh, include tickets for the Goku and Vegeta banner. And we have your Elder Kai banner, Dokkan event for the Goku and Vegeta, uh, new stages for the Super Strike event for King Cold, where we can get his Awakening Medals and also his Extreme Z Awakening Medals too. We have uh, a new stage for this event, which gives us the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the Tech LR Ginyu Goku. And then a couple of story events uh, becoming available. We have the reopening of the Lord Slug Extreme Z area. Uh, super intensive training, massive growth missions. Okay, so some missions with rewards there. Interesting. We got more charges of the reward boost from 3 to 5. So uh, basically even more, you know, boosted runs. And what else? Oh, uh, we got the new Ultimate Clash. We got Extreme Z Dokkan Festival slash Extreme Z Battle for the Angel Golden Frieza, who is by all means one of the less impressive uh, Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakenings that we've seen recently. Just gotta be honest, he's, he's not that impressive, but he's okay. He's okay. So we got the Extreme Z Awakening for him. We got the Defenders of Justice Category Summon, which uh, obviously is a skip. 
And then, uh, what else? We have the challenge pack. We have a new Peton Battle. That's cool. 15th Peton Battle. New stage of Super Battle Road added. And some more story events returning on the 11th. Fully loaded. Ooh, we got a new world tournament, looks like, coming up in a bit. So we have the weekend missions, which are great for some extra stones. And then we have the Genius Bulma's Battle Prep, which is obviously a sign of an upcoming world tournament. It's been a while. I can't really remember when the last world tournament was, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, new world tournament. Um, some people might be excited about that. Some people might not be. But at the end of the day, it's always a good amount of rewards for every tournament. So, I'll still take that. But, uh, yeah, that looks to be everything we're getting for the thank you celebration this year it looks to be okay um you know nothing like too exciting if i'm being honest now for part two we are going to be getting the golden frieza lr golden frieza who is pretty awesome so i'm looking forward to that but otherwise you know a pretty standard thank you celebration um once again i will be making a video for the Purunga Balls and also maybe the thank you gift cards, so stay tuned for that. But let's uh, check out some other things here. We got thank you special missions, uh, up to 14 Dragon Stones, and you can get two additional uh, thank you celebration gift cards and two Dokkan Festival tickets, which is nice. Those are uh, used for, you know, the Goku banner and also some like Sleepy Kai's and stuff like that, so everything else is quite standard. And login bonus, I think we got 10 stones, no sorry, uh, 7 stones for the first login and one thank you gift card. And then for the remaining days, it's actually 2 stones per day, which is double the average, so uh, that's also pretty nice. Yep, 2 stones every day for the login. Uh, there should be a picture of the selection right there. Okay, so these are the units they can choose with their thank you gift cards. Um, a lot of these guys have Extreme Sea Awakenings now, so depending on like how good the Extreme Sea Awakening is, uh, that will definitely determine like who is better value compared to others. So once again, we'll uh, talk about that a little bit later. Oh, it looks like we do have some new units. I wasn't... I mean, I'm not sure if the Dragon Ball Fusions characters were available before. Maybe they were, but I do see like the Kuliza, I see the Chao Man and uh, a few others in here so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so we got some like pretty interesting units here so once again we'll break that down in the uh upcoming video for the thank you gift cards but basically you got some pretty solid options here for sure and for the Perungo dragon ball campaign we have our first um yeah, it looks like we have our first clue, which is Awaken a Super or Extreme Power, which I'm assuming just means um, see Awaken any character, right? I mean, yeah, basically Z Awaken like a SSR to UR, and you should be good unless it means something else. I'll go check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And that uh, we get a new um, clue every single day, and we can get one new Dragon Ball every day. And uh, once you collect seven, you can make a wish or make three wishes. And then you move on to the next set, make three more wishes, and the next set, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, 21 clues, 21 balls, stay tuned. And then we have some new areas for story mode as well. Specifically stages, I think, four and five, is it? Or five and six? I think it's four and five. I think it's four and five. And uh, everything else is just uh some previews for new stages which i forgot to click on so there's the token event preview there's the king cold stage preview and there's the uh ginyu goku uh new stage extreme sea area preview as well and yeah there you go chapter five part one new stage is added and i believe it's yeah four and five that just became available uh, today so that's it guys that is your news update that is the thank you celebration for global um let me know in the comments down below if you guys are stoked for any of this new stuff and uh whether you plan to summon for the uh goku and vegeta when they drop in about what like four or five hours from now 
uh, depending on of course when you watch the video it might be out already so if if that's the case then good luck on your summons and uh that's all I gotta say guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.